pop-ups. They are equally annoying as they are effective. I think that is a good way to say that they work, but I've been looking for a pop-up tool. And today we're gonna to test out a brand new one in the AppSumo store. This is one of the quickest purchases that I've ever made because I've actually been looking for this. And what I'm talking about, of course, is Optinly. And now it's in the AppSumo store. It just got posted literally like an hour ago. And if I scroll down, one code will get you five sites. But today we're gonna to actually try this out in my use case scenario. What I think this is gonna offer the most value and here for the very first time, we're gonna enter in go.aiprofits.com and we're gonna click create. Now, good morning. Here's what happens with your campaigns. So once you create your account for the first time using AppSumo, we're gonna add a new campaign and it's gonna ask what we intend to do with this campaign. Now, what I love about this is that you can do gamification pop-ups, coupon pop-ups. They have a ton of different options and depending on what your intent is it's going to serve you a different group of templates that you can use now for this sake we're just going to build for the ai profits email list so let's go ahead and build an audience and click create now what we'll see is a bunch of uh pop-ups and uh i think personally they look pretty good i like the way that this stuff looks uh this one here is rather unique if you keep scrolling, I think what you'll find is that you're gonna have something that can work for your use case. Uh, let's scroll on down and see what, you know, we just need something in the middle of the screen. Uh, this is a sidebar template. I would rather have it, if I could at least, in the middle of the screen uh, for what I'm looking to do. So let's see here. Let's do this one here, actually. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and click use pop up. This is the cactus template, but we're going to change all of this. So we're going to have it show uh, after the visitor spends five seconds on the website. And uh, we could also show it on exit, perhaps. I don't know. We'll just leave it like this for now. Uh, if we wanted to do spam protection, we could do Google's invisible recaptcha. I don't know what that means, but we might as well turn it on. And uh, let's go in and actually customize this and let's see what it is like. So within the builder, we'll see that we can design for three different types of devices, mobile phones, tablets, and desktops. And then we can edit by just clicking the little pencil icon and typing in join and the form we could type in, like if we wanted John at domain.com we could do that but we're just going to leave it as email address now for the customize i am going to change up this font a little bit i'm going to have it more in that purplish gray type field let's go a little bit lighter there let's just change this up a slight bit in that range and then a secondary color we'll just do we might as well go in the more of the teal range somewhere like that now for the background image, let's click replace image and upload our logo. So we've got our logo now, we've got uh, the secondary color we need to change, make that a little bit darker perhaps. And we'll leave it like that. I think that is uh, good enough for this sake. Let's see if we can change the background of the entire, uh, here it is, the close icon. We wanna change the close icon, have it be more in the purple camp. Uh, let's go in that range and then the background color. I want it to be more just yeah somewhere in that like grayish white and I think all in all this looks pretty good. Now let's go in with our terms and conditions. Let's edit it and then type in and then you can see how easy it is to link to everything and then we'll go with the privacy. If we want an animation we could have this zoom in. We could have this fade in uh, even backing up or flip in which are, you know, pretty good uh, attention grabbing uh, graphics. I'm gonna do the zoom in and this is looking pretty good. Let's check it on all devices. Uh, so like, obviously we misspelled AI profits there. That's probably something that we should fix. All right, that looks good. I like the way that that looks. Uh, and let's click, say, actually let's put a thank you template. Let's redirect this, click save template and now our campaign has been updated. 
So my use case for this is actually going to be to embed this pop-up here. Uh, let's talk a little bit about what you could use this for. So my use case, and the reason I'm so excited about this, is embedding this via Switchy, which is a URL shortener, another AppSumo deal, one of my favorite deals of all time, because I can now share a news article, let's say for real estate for a realtor, I could share like seven best home trends, and then on that news article from an authoritative uh, body, I can put the pop-up in the middle of it. There's the most obvious one on your website, this does gamification. This does, you know, a lot of really neat things. I'm not going to get into each one of those in this video in particular. I'll do that in a future video. However, my use case and why I'm so excited about this is using this on Switchy. So we should be able to embed this pop-up now on a Switchy website link. So we can now embed a pop-up onto a piece of authority. Let me just show you. So if we're going to come here to the uh, Google News, let's go to Google News and let's search, you know, best email marketing trends. And uh, let's go to this one here, email marketing best practices and predictions. Let's copy this link. So now let's jump into Switchy and switch our link. We can fire off a pixel once we redirect to this link. And then we can come in here and we could do best marketing trends 2021, something like that. And then under advanced options, we can now, let's jump back in here and go to settings, sites, and installation instructions. And let's copy this code. And then down here under embed widget, we can add a new embed widget. It's custom JavaScript and we can call it optinly uh, pop-up. So it looks like we might have to turn on our campaign before this works. So now we've turned this on. It's going to take 30 seconds, it says. Let's go over the dashboard in the next 30 seconds while we wait. This now is a live pop-up. Uh, it was stalling out on Switchy before I realized that it's not even turned on. So let's go through. Uh, you've got the dashboard. Now we've got our campaigns. We can have different campaigns. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how multiple campaigns work. Uh, however, up here we can add our different domains. So as a part of the AppSumo deal, you get five sites right now for $49. Uh, it would be great to see that increase to 10. Uh, when the Spread Simple deal came out, I believe it was five and now it's 10. So hopefully that will improve. Uh, then we've got our subscribers here where anyone that opts in will be you know, put into this subscriber. Uh, let's actually integrate. We probably need to integrate this with Sendfox. So this does integrate with Sendfox. So let's click our Sendfox integration. In our Sendfox account, let's navigate to the APIs and create a new token. And let's call this Optinly. And let's create the token. Let's copy to Optinly and paste the API key. And let's click validate. And we can select an audience now and let's call it AI Profits and let's click save. Under campaigns, we now probably need to go back in and actually customize the campaign and uh, somehow set this integration. So let's see on the subscribe now. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe this just auto integrates. I don't know. Let's go try out our switchy link and let's see if now it's going to work. So here it says in their help documentation that we need to paste this in the index.html file within the body section. So let's actually turn this off and let's click add new and let's see. So if I give this a title, I must need to enter this into the custom HTML section instead. So if I do that, now the script is added. Let's select the new one, which is AI Profits Pop-Up. Click Update My Link. So now let's try this out in an incognito window now that we have changed this to uh, be the HTML. And there it goes. We have figured this out, guys. This, it was a bit frustrating. I'm going to be honest. Uh, I have spent now, well, it's only been 22 minutes uh, working through this. However... Uh, you do have to embed that JavaScript code from Optinly into the HTML field. And then you've got to be a little bit patient because the first time I went to try it, it still stalled out. And let's jump back into Optinly real quick. 
and let's log into our actual email campaign and let's show this pop up after say like seven seconds and I'm going to click update there and now we shouldn't have to do anything with our you know switchy link anymore the code should just auto update so now I'm going to go to an incognito window I'm going to give it about 30 seconds and by the way this use case scenario is a little bit unique uh, I personally think that this is where all of the value in a pop-up tool is because there are so many ways that you can build these pop-ups now on websites already through Elementor Pro. You know, a lot of different website plugins and options offer pop-ups, but I've yet to see one that was, and a lot of people might not like it, it's like a separate portal or login that you go and create the pop-in and then you embed it. Of course, there is a WordPress plugin. That'll be a separate video uh, because I will put this on the AI Profit site as well. Now, I just bought one code that's five sites, and I'm going to try this out on a few of my personal sites. I don't know if I will put this on any client sites. However, I did not renew my Elementor Pro, which is how I was building pop-ups on client sites last year. And I know that they work because I have a client that we use pop-ups on their site throughout, and they get a ton of opt-ins. Let's actually check this out and make sure that it is working now on a seven-second delay. So you come on this best marketing trends website and I'm sharing with you the importance of a strong, oh, there you go, join the AI Profits email list. Now, is that a little bit annoying? Perhaps. However, if you don't like it, you can just hit the X button and continue on. Uh, one of the other things that I want to do is actually use Botstar on this website. And let me show you that real quick, even though that will be a separate video in its entirety. So I actually have the YouTube chat bot. I just picked up Botstar not too long ago. So let's go to the website one more time. And uh, again, we should see a chat bot down here, which we do. And then we're going to let seven seconds go by. Uh, and then we see the pop up. So now we're literally putting our branding on this website. You could almost say we're hijacking business.com with AI profits, everything. Uh, shocking. You know, the fact that you can do this is just, I don't know if they'll always allow you to do this. It doesn't seem like something uh, that, you know, you should be able to do personally. Uh, I've seen people trying to sell this stuff. Like I said, in one of the videos that I made on Switchy, they sell a very similar system to this for like $600. Uh, and then they've got expensive monthlies to use their software. So it's like a course plus their software. I don't know. You can do it all now with Optinly and uh, Switchy. So I just wanted to make this video my first impressions of Optinly. I'll make a more detailed video. Hopefully this shows you a little bit about what you can actually do with Optinly outside of the basic uh, format. And again, we're going to make a video going over all of the traditional uses uh, here in a little bit. So uh, subscribe to the channel. Hopefully this video brought you some value. My name is Scott with AIProfits.com and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.